me ve usted bailando así, los pasitos en mi barrio al pasar dicen así, que linda es la mulatica, que le dicen los chichi, que linda es la mulatica, que le dicen los chichi, chichi, ven junto a mí, que la conga ya va a empezar. Buenas noches, Tito. Buenas noches. Señora, you're much welcome. I am at your command. I have a very nice table for you. This is gonna cost us money. Give him a fan. Tonight you're wonderful, magnificent. Juanito, you're gonna ask me for something. No, no, I am too happy. Ask me who is here tonight. I don't ask you, but who is it? Tito Flores, one of the best prize fighters in all Mexico. Oh, what do I care about a prize fighter? And that is not all. I have just spoken with Carlos Lopez, who owns so many ranchos. So? He has the honor of having at his table. Look, Juanito. For 20, for 50, for a hundred times, I said no. Lita, please. Well, tonight, tonight I say yes. You want an answer? Senor Lopez, I have the honor of bringing Lita Valdez to your table. For a very long time, Senorita, I have uh, waited this pleasure. When I say no before, uh, you did not believe me, eh? Now I must show you. When I say no, I mean no! I'll bet she can hit. How would you like her for a sparring partner, Tito? A well, layoff for Tito. It was just a suggestion. Well, forget it. Your little devil, I have something to say, and I say quick. How many times must I tell you I sit at tables with nobody? When you work for me and I say sit, you sit! <laughs> but I wait for you no more. I quit right now. come down to see you, sis. Oh, but, uh, but uh, what are you doing here? Why aren't you in college in New Haven? New Haven, Chiquita. New Haven, Connecticut. Oh, such funny names. <laughs> Don't I send money for you to be one big lawyer? Of course you do. And I know what it must have meant to you. But you've been my father, my mother, and my sister long enough. Now, for the first time, I bring the money. You are one big lawyer now, no? No. No, I was afraid I couldn't make enough money as a lawyer. But in the ring, I make plenty. Ring? What kind of ring you are in? The prize ring. You mean prize fighter? That's right. Oh, you soon will have a push-up face. No. You must not fight. You must stop tonight. You go back to college tomorrow. <laughs> oh, sis, don't worry about my face. Boxing is going to be my career. I like it. No. It's easy. All I do is hit somebody and they always fall down. You mean uh, you hit somebody like this and they fall down? That's right. <clears throat> Are you sure they always fall down? Uh-huh. Come with me. See him there? I'll never come in this cafe anymore. I've been insulted. Never. Yes? Make him fall down. Oh, but Lita, I don't even know him. Oh, that's simple. I'll fix that. Come with me. But please don't. Never me. anymore. You know, that's all. Just for please, please. Juan, this is my little baby brother, Alberto. All right, baby? Make him fall down. But why? He fired me tonight. Oh. <laughs> that was my friend you hit. <laughs> 
There goes your meal ticket, Doc. Oh, I knew we should have stayed in Brooklyn. See, that's Tito Flores. You make him fall down. That is good. I think we better go. I go with you. Hey, Doc, let's sign the other guy. He's dynamite. I think you're right at that. Give us our hats. Any I hats. don't like this. There's women mixed up with it, and women are always hard luck. Not when you got a kid that can hit like the kick of a mule. Oh, well, Come on. Mr. Johnson, time after time, I've asked you like a gentleman. I pleaded with you like a friend. Don't sprinkle ashes all over Daisy! I'm sorry, Doc. Daisy, I'll never do it again. Honest. <laughs> well, everything reads all right except for one thing. Jerry's got to have 30% of the gate or no bout. That's what he's been getting. Uh, <coughs> okay. Okay, Al. Have it your way. But you're taking me for a ride. <laughs> but Mr. Hogan told us to come to New York. I'm sorry, but you can't see him. He's busy. Why you say no? You go tell Mr. Doc we are here. If you don't do it, I tell my brother to push you down. He's twice your heavy, you know. Just a minute. Doc, there's a lady outside that insists on seeing you. The women are not allowed in here. This one, she come in. You say bring baby? Baby, she's here. I'm very sorry, but you'll have to wait. I'm busy. Oh, you have pretty roses, eh? Those are not roses. Those are carnations. I love carnations. They're the only beautiful thing in my life. Good. Then I take one, no? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lady, you can keep the carnation, but you must go. I have business to finish with these gentlemen. Good, then we help you. Baby, he makes everybody fall down. Then we finish business very quick, no? Just what do you want? Oh, you say you make fight for baby. Who do we fight? Look, you just got here. You can't fight right away. Now you go out and do a little training, and I'll fix up a fight. Oh, oh, okay, Doc. But you make it very quick, no? Yes, very quick. <laughs> you look much better now. Thank you. Well, we go now. We go training. We come back tomorrow, no? Uh, I'm always in shape, Mr. Hogan. I'll go out and do some road work just to make you happy. Oh, thank you. See you again. Yeah. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Sí, Women are always hard luck. Who are they, Doc? Oh, the kid's a fighter I picked up in Mexico. He's got dynamite in both fists. One of them exploded on Tito Flores' chin. He went out of business immediately. Well, come on, let's get this deal over with. That's well, all ready to sign. You are, right, Jerry. But you did take a neat dive. Sorry, so first I break my leg. What then? It'd be the most beautiful broken leg I ever saw. So, you look at my leg, eh? I won't do it again. <laughs> did I say you shouldn't? <laughs> you know, baby, he's my little brother. 
Have you got a big brother? Oh, he's my big brother, too. Baby, this is the... Uh... Who are you, anyway? Jerry O'Leary. Oh, an Irish, huh? That's right. His name is Pedro Ramirez Mendoza Valdez, but for short, I call him Baby. Hello, Baby. Hello, Jerry. I am Lita. Hello, Lita. I think Doc Hoogman's figuring on putting you in one of the preliminaries next Friday night. Oh, I sure hope it goes through. You go watch the fight? I think I'll be there. I'm boxing the main event. Oh, then I watch you too. I'll be looking forward to that. But I hope to see you before then. Maybe. Come, let's hold on together, no? I'd say yes. <laughs> I'd say yes too. Starting a dancing school? Oh, no, just for baby. I think you got something there, Lita. Wait till you see him fight. Uh, we'll see Friday night when he fights a preliminary at the Palace Club. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be ready. <laughs> huh? Hey, what is this? What gives out with this dance? We'll show you. Uh oh. You watch it. <laughs> okay, baby. I haven't seen this trick in a long time. See if you can hit me, huh? Why not? <laughs> hey, this guy is good. Nice going. You know, I haven't seen anything as good as that since the days of Kid Griffo. Oh, this uh, Kid Griffo, he fight no more, eh? Uh, no, no more. You think that's good, huh? I don't know who's going to be able to tag you in a ring. Oh, baby will make him fall down. Yeah, and I'll set him up as fast as he knocks him down. And uh, he make plenty money, no? Well, I'd go as far as to say, yes. Good. Friday night. Who do I fight? A guy named Waxy Wharton. Waxy? Wax? Oh, all right. Reminds me of the days of Ma Stribling. The racket could stand a little color. The kind of fights they're pulling off, the suckers need some added attraction. And that's just the little lady that can dish it out. My guess is right. In next stop, on tonight's card of boxing events, in this corner, at 171 pounds, the bruising bomber from the Bronx, Waxy Wharton. <laughs> Both of you step back and break clean. No sneak punches and no hitting on the back of the neck or the kidney. Shake hands now and come out fighting. Make him fall down quick, baby. Sure. about the young lady is right. He's as shifty as George Carpenter was in his former days, but Kenny Punch.
lunch? That's one for the books. Okay, baby. Before long, the crowd will know that by heart. What did I tell you? That baby don't fool with them long. Yeah, he's all right. a nice part of the fight game, cutting the melon. Here's your end of the purse. <laughs> Baby, only count till ten. I count much higher. Fifty dollars? This is not very big melon you cut. Uh, it gets bigger as you go along. Well, who do we fight tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Well, he can't fight tomorrow night. We'll get him another bout in a week or two. Oh, how do you expect the next coming champion of the world to live with this? You tell Mr. Doc he better do better. Or maybe I tell baby he make him fall down. See? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sis, you're wonderful. Uh, you're wonderful, too. Oh, the Irisher. I don't want to miss his fight. You better hurry up. I see you after the fight, eh? Okay, sis. Thank you. I get the same complaint from a lot of fight fans. Uh, you sounded pretty happy tonight, Al. I've got to admit, you did a neat job on Stuffy. And Baby, he make a good job with this fellow, what you call, uh, Wexy. He sure did. <laughs> oh, Doc, remind me to tell you something before you forget, eh? Do you recall that melody last night? all over, but our romance has just begun, fascinated by moonlight and soft guitars, we dance in heaven beneath the stars, lips pressed close to mine, brought me a You're the only one Last night's all over The song is done But our romance has just begun <laughs> I 
I wonder if she rumbles like she sings. Dancing and fighting don't mix, honey. I'm not so sure about that. You asked Harry. He was dead. They made me change my mind. After I saw Alberto dance that guy into a knockout, I'm sold. And the little lady does things with music, too. She's a swell canary. Oh, you sing, too? Oh, it's just a little bit. One of the best in all Mexico. Baby. Oh, then you should get up and entertain the customers. Oh, no. <laughs> not here. I'm afraid they will not like my singing here very much. Sure they will, sis. Go ahead, Lita. I'd like to hear you sing. <laughs> you think so? Sure, I would. You're among friends. All right. I'll do it. I'll see Peroni about it. Hello, Al. Hi, Tony. Say, there's a gal in our party who'd like to sing a song for you. You know, sort of, uh, sort of a shot. Don't tell him you're too time with Flossie. I uh, know, she'll get a laugh out of it. As a matter of fact, I think this party's gonna be slightly on the corny side. <laughs> I get it. What's her name? Lita Valdez. I give her a send off. Send her over. Everything's arranged, Lita. Go out there and knock them out of their seats. <laughs> Shall I? Sure. Go ahead. Friends, we have a treat for you this evening. One of our guests is a star from our good neighbor republic, Mexico, who will entertain you with one of her favorite songs. Miss Lita Valdez. <laughs> I hope they like her as much as they do at home. Swing up for land and on sea. Swing up for our liberty. Swing up and set the world free. Jive, a brother, jive. Heave with hot rivets and balls. Big enough, then uh, you caught two melons, no? That sounds like Mexican jive. No, that's American business. You know, when they give you the business. All right, let's go in my office and talk it over. <laughs> All right.
Take it up. Lita. You come to see my pretty flowers? Uh, they're very lovely. Now I come to have a little talk with you. You see the heat is on. Oh, yes, it's very hot tonight, hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand, Lita. You see, the boxing commissioner insists on matching Alberta with the champ. Oh, wonderful! Then baby would be the champ. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. You mean Jerry? Yes, of course. Why not? Baby and Jerry will not fight. No! <coughs> now, wait. I'll take it easy. It's not my idea. It was the commissioner. You bring the commissioner here and I tell him something, too. Oh, but... And you better go before... before I get very mad. No, 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 no. Not that. Look, look, honey. That's from... that's from Jerry. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 well, bye. Bye. Oh, Alberto, it's lovely. But you shouldn't have spent so much money. Well, that's what I came with Danny Devlin for. You know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be any too happy about Lita singing in the same club. Oh, you two make a great combination. Oh, hands across the border, huh? Hmm. Well, I think you better run along. This is no place for a fight in the train. Oh, I don't start training until tomorrow. Well, then you go right home to bed, and you'll be able to get up bright and early. Now, wait a minute. Is this a brush-off? You'll get to be the champ, and you'll find out. Do you mean that, Paul? Well, you have a way to find out. I'm in training right now. <laughs> oh, don't I know it. <laughs> oh. I I'll see you tomorrow night anyway, huh? Uh-huh. Good night. Good night. Want to dance, Lita? Something's been worrying you, Chick, ever since your last number. Oh, what can worry me? I can't think of anything. That's why I'm asking you. Jerry, you like Baby? Of course. He's my second best friend. Oh, there's somebody else? This somebody won't mind. Jerry, there are two people in the world I love very much. Always, they must be good friends. You promise me? So you've had two words. Well, you really haven't any. There are too many people here, or I kiss you. Chick, you know something? A little bit. I learned quick, eh? You're out of this world. Is that good? It's the Sunday punch in the first round. It's the morning sun over the green foothills in your own Mexico. The Rio Bravo River, running between tall purple cliffs, big elms, a small town street, kids playing ball on the back lot, the pleasant smell of dinner at home, and all the other things that are out of this world. Are they good? They're marvelous. <laughs> Me? I'm all there too? Didn't I say you were out of this world? Oh, Jim. Will you come out of this world with me? I'd like to. You sure she's going to be here, Doc? You can never be sure of any women, Commissioner. Oh, yes, she can. You can be sure they'll gum up the works. Hey, 
Doc, Miss Valdez left the house. If she's headed this way, she should get here any minute. I don't see why we have to wait for that pepper part. You've got the kid signed, haven't you? Sure I have, but she wrote herself in the contract, too. She's the party of the second part and says yes or no. Well, if I were you, I'd toss her out in the alley. Who are you tossing the alley now? Oh, I wasn't talking about you. Oh, he was talking about certain site managers. Oh. Oh, uh, Miss Valdez, I'd like you to meet Mr. Bogart, the boxing commissioner. How do you do? Hello. You fight some time long ago, maybe? No, I'm a businessman, not a boxer. <laughs> we'll see what kind of business you make. You go ahead and tell her, Commissioner. Well, there isn't a great deal that I can say, so I'll get right to the point. Now, in the light uh, heavyweight division, there's one logical contender. He's entitled to a match with a champion. You don't say names, but I know what you're talking about. In plain words, your brother has a record which entitles him to be matched with Jerry O'Leary. Now, the Commission wants that match arranged. Oh, but you can't do this. They love each other. They love each other like Damon and... like Damon and Ryan. Oh, they're good friends. You can't make friends fight. No. You cannot make this fight. I won't let Baby do the fight. Jerry won't fight. I won't let anybody fight. Oh, no, sorry, but this is all a lot of twaddle. You cannot call me a twaddle. He didn't mean that, Lita. I meant just exactly that. The Commission approved the match, and you people are here to arrange it. I'm for it, Commissioner. The boys should get together. Listen to him. Does he push the nose of his friends like this? Like this? No, because he has no friends. Hey, if you're going to do that again, use Johnson's nose. He's in shape. Ah. Now, look. If this match isn't signed up, the Commission will have to suspend both fighters. Baby and Jerry cannot fight. Well, they can box. I'll show you what I mean. No, no, not deadly. This exhibition won't alter things. The match will be made or the two fighters will be suspended. Oh. Oh, but they must not fight. It, it will spoil everything. If Baby wins, it will break my heart. If Jerry wins, it will break my heart to... Oh, it cannot be. like this. Why do you have to get up so early? Well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, the sun's hardly up. Well, good things don't wait for the sun. <laughs> okay, so now, you've got an idea. You're doing all right with Valdez, and the layout might pay dividends. I'm listening. Of course, you know, the kid's been matched with O'Leary. And you can take the champ, too, if you ask me. Yeah, that's where my idea begins. A lot of people think so. And I can make up the minds of a lot more. I'm still in the fog. Just relax. After everybody thinks the same way, <laughs> Valdez doesn't win. I begin to see the Johnson touch. O'Leary will be on the long end of the odds by then, so we bet on him and reap a fortune. Before you reap, you must always sow. Well, like I said, you're doing all right with Valdez. He's got to be in perfect shape to take O'Leary, who's no pushover. So, if baby is not in perfect shape? There'll be a grand on O'Leary at long odds. Under your name. Sammy's a bit better, Jerry, but you don't follow up fast enough with your right. I caught Sammy with it a couple of times. Yeah, Sammy couldn't get out of the way of a horse car. And another thing, don't use your right so much. Take your time. Save it for the final curtain. Go in and take a shower. Okay, Al. Hello, chick. Why did you make you fall down? Oh, I'm saving that. 
for the baby. <laughs> now, don't go away. I'll be right back. How do you like my boy? Oh, I like him very much. This is really funny. What's funny? Your being here. Don't forget, you're from the enemy camp. Oh. Well, how do I know you're not here to pick up some pointers for that palooka brother of yours? Look, Mr. Johnson. Number one, I'm no pigeon stool. Number two, my brother, she's no palooka. Number three, I like Jerry very much. You know, I... I honestly don't think you would take advantage of Jerry, even though he is fighting your brother. Just the same, you have the edge in this bout. The baby is fast and he can punch. Oh, sure, Jerry is shiftier, but he doesn't pack any wallop. Look, Mr. Johnson, will you please speak plain English? Well, what I'm trying to say is Jerry doesn't hit any too hard. If he did, nobody could stop him. The baby has a better than even chance of winning this fight. Oh, uh, well, it's all in the game, I suppose. You know something. For the first time, I like you, I think. Hmm. Thank you. Well, I'll buy you some lunch. All right. Hello, Flo. I'm glad you could come out. Well, I had to put the lucky sign on you, baby. <laughs> Looks kind of silly, doesn't it? You really want to win this fight, don't you? I've got a lot of reasons, but only two count. I want to knock Jerry right out of the boxing game, so he won't wind up on his heels someday. You must like Jerry. You bet I do. Big dope studied to be a doctor, and then he switches to letting a lot of bruisers throw leather at him. But you've got another reason. I was meant to be champ. We made that up together. Remember? You bet I do. Jerry. Yes, Chick? Baby, he punched very hard. You be careful, eh? I always try to take care of myself around flying leather. So far, I've done all right. You and Baby are very good friends. Why you have to fight? It's business, Lita, that's all. Oh, I don't understand this kind of business. You like him and he likes you. Why you have to fight together? Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I don't like this, Jerry. Suppose he does put me down for the count. There'll still be a champ in the family. Win, lose, or draw, we still win. If you hurt Baby, I would be very sad. If Baby hurts you, I'll be sad, too. Either way, I lose. That's the fight game, Lita. Come on, Johnson, you don't have to pull any punches. Doc won't mind. Well, strictly off the record, I think Valdez carries too many guns for the champ. <laughs> what are you trying to do, alibi the decision already? No, I'm honestly telling you what I think. I've been wrong before, but not often. You think he's right, Doc? Well, I don't like to oversell a fighter, but anybody the baby hits falls down. You need an Orton bombsite to tag him. Jerry's only chance is to stay away from him. You mean if Jerry keeps backpedaling, he'll come out with a decision? That's what I think. Well, according to the baby's knockout record, most of the boys weren't able to pedal fast enough. I saw him when he started fighting around small clubs. Fast, shifty kid. Throws a punch and the referee starts to count. Well, that's what I'm telling you. Valdez should really be made the favorite in this bout. That's what it looks like now. Jim Doyle is quoting eight to five on the baby. I'd give two to one. I'll take a grant of that. Uh, <clears throat> grant goes. Two to one with Valdez on the short end. Ooh, Jerry couldn't be that bad. <laughs> Like one round bag with. Only he's in better shape. Oh, won't you try? Won't you buy my pretty flowers? With my donkey, I come from Monterrey. Though Tarzan gas may have Russian, still I ride round in fashion with my donkey. I travel. Oh, my 
great ambition. I just love to keep the world around. But I must change my disposition. Here's one thing that I just found. Harry, next time we come here, get ringside seats where the view is better. Look, Doc, Peroni put us in the corner because he says you frighten a smart tray. Tomorrow, Harry, you're on relief. What, again? coming back here tomorrow night, and I'd like to get a front view of that act. <laughs> Peroni will never stand for it, Doc. Oh. Well, here we are. Come on. We go upstairs and say hello to Lita. Oh, but do you think I should? Oh, sure. She likes you very much. Well, it's awfully late, baby. Come on. Oh, hello. Oh, Lita. My little sister. You've had a very good time tonight, baby? Wonderful, wonderful. I was going to bring Flossie upstairs to say hello to you. Well, she can uh, say hello and goodbye now. Oh, sis. Oh, she's right. It is awfully late. You come some other time, eh, Flossie? Yes, I will. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Baby, you've been drinking. And why you go out with that girl? Oh, Alita, what's the matter? I was just having a little fun. Besides, I like Flossie. You better go to bed right away. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I got little business to take care of. Now, you be a good little baby and go to bed. Come on, hurry up. Go on. You don't expect to see me so soon, eh? If you've come to talk about Alberta, you can save your breath. I think better we talk about you first, then we talk about Baby. Look, just what's on your mind. You like Baby, no? I don't care to discuss that with you. We have to discuss it sometime. So tonight, nobody will bother us. Why did you take Baby away from the camp? Now look, if you don't mind. Hmm? Don't touch me! Why? for me, Ontario Leary. Don't tell me Jerry's in this too. Well, he's fighting, isn't he? And all I know is he's set to win. Lita! Flossie! What is this? Now you tell him. Well, baby, uh, Al Johnson wants to make sure of the fight. What happened tonight fits in with the idea. He's building you up on the side and betting everything on Jerry O'Leary. If you're kept out of condition, Jerry can't lose. That's the story. And that's all right, Flossie. Sis, you shouldn't have come here. But I did it for you. I can take care of myself. I can run my life. You say that? Then Jerry will do what she say, too. Please. Alberta, you were wrong to defend me. What I told you is the truth. 
I know it was. But I don't want to believe it. Well, that doesn't leave me much except a pretty awful feeling of cheapness. When you love somebody very much, you don't want to believe anything wrong about them. some of that for Friday night. I got plenty of it left. Yeah, we'll take the afternoon off. We don't want to lose that edge. Changing your whole life, are you? I don't get it. Well, here it is, only two o'clock, and you've been out already. And just why are you here so early? To remind you, there's a grand riding on Jerry O'Leary for you. You want him to win, don't you? Oh, I'm sure the best man will win. And uh, you're kind of arranging that? I am. Is that all you came here for, Al? Yeah, that's all. I'll be depending on you. You can. I'll do the right thing. Now, if you don't mind. Well, I'm going, but what's the rush? Well, I've got to get out to the training camp, you know. Uh -huh. I'll see you at the payoff. Polika, there's a phone call for you. Who is it? It's Jerry again. Oh. Nothing.
Come in. Hello. Hello. Lita, for the past few months, you've been avoiding me. So? Well, I'd like to have a little talk with you. What have we to talk about? About Jerry and baby. Alberto saw Jerry, and he told him why you wouldn't see him or even talk to him. Jerry wasn't in on that frame up, Lita. I should have known when he lost the fight. But now they're both gone, and where? I don't know. Ah, but there's somebody outside with a message for you from both of them. There is? Mm-hmm. Well. I'm still waiting. Oh, baby, I wait for you a long time. Why don't you tell me where you are? I went to Mexico City to enlist. Oh, for that, I forgive you. And you, why don't you tell me where you go? And you, why you hit him so hard and make him fall? <laughs> oh, you break my heart, both of you. Oh, I must sing now. Now, don't you go away for me, eh? Wait for me. Momento, momento. Ladies and gentlemen, Señoras y caballeros, tonight, tonight I am so happy. I had lost two men, and tonight I found them. One is my brother, and I am very proud to say that he is a soldier from my country, Mexico. The other one, the other one is a soldier from your country. He's not a captain yet. Oh, but he will be very soon. So I am so happy that I want to shout to all the world and everybody. <laughs> Yeah. 